And Trish Porter talks about the plane crash that took her Olympian husband and son. Good afternoon. It happened hundreds of miles away, but a fiery plane crash in Arizona with no survivors has touched Albuquerque in a very personal way. Today, family members confirmed a former Olympic runner, his 15-year-old son, and an Albuquerque Academy classmate were all killed in the wreck. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at Albuquerque Academy with the story. Kim, the medical investigator in Sedona has not confirmed it yet, but a little after 3, Trish Porter told us she knows her husband, Pat, her 15-year-old son, Connor, and her son's best friend, Connor Manch, were all killed in that crash. The three uh, were on a guy's trip in Sedona. They would left Thursday and were heading home yesterday morning. The crash happened yesterday a little before 8.30 local time at the Sedona airport. Sedona police tell us the plane was trying to take off when it appeared to clip a fence at the end of the runway. Police say something on the plane was knocked loose and it dropped hundreds of feet into a ravine off the end of that runway before bursting into flames, killing all three on board. Trish Porter says she met her husband, Pat, at the 1988 Olympics and fell in love with his sense of humor. Their 15-year-old son, Connor, was going to be an Albuquerque Academy freshman in the fall and was a remarkable fencer. He loved life, his friends, his school, and was very, very proud to tell others how much he loved his sister, Shannon. Manch, a spokesperson for the family, tells me Connor enjoyed gardens uh, more than he ever enjoyed video games, had an inventive and creative spirit and a zeal for life. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. We'll hear much more from them coming up at 5.30. The NTSB says the wreckage was taken from the crash site to Phoenix to find out what caused the accident.